Well, hi, we're uh, going to talk today about the Authentico range that Jackie predominantly uses for the furniture painting uh, projects that she does, both for the shop and indeed for, for home. Um, there are many different products in the Authentico range and indeed they have uh, additional products that go over and above painting furniture, uh, various wall products, uh, they do a lime paint for um, classic houses, um, all sorts of different products. But what I'm going to concentrate on today are all the products that you might be interested in for your furniture, furniture paint, painting projects. The first thing to say about the Authentico range, because um, what we're talking about here is, is chalk paint, is, uh, and there are other chalk paints, but I'm not aware of any that have got that number of colours, which is over 150. So uh, I'm pretty sure that whatever color you're looking for for your project, we will be able to find it for you. And indeed, these colors are available in all of the ranges that we're just about to, to talk about, except the metallics, which I'll come to later. So the first thing to say is let's talk about sizes, because that's another big plus actually with Authentico. They provide the paint in uh, different size cans. Um, uh, and little pots. These ones here, 100 mil, uh, they're ideal for tester pots, yes, but as you can see, it, it, uh, or as you will realize when you use the paint, it does go quite a long way. So um, uh, you can use this for picture frames, mirror frames, things like that. So that's the 100 mil. Then you have the 500 uh, milliliter, uh, one liter, and uh, finally, two and a half litres. Um, that's really only used if you're someone like Jackie, who's doing it all the time, or if you want to paint sheds, fences, things like that. Okay, so there, that's the uh, different sizes that you can use, and we can discuss with you what's best for your project. If we then talk about the individual ranges, well, the, the go-to range is really Vasanti Matte uh, with its sister paint, Vasanti Eggshell, which I'll explain in a second. Vasanti Matte, as it says, it's a, it's a matte paint. It's actually got a very slight sheen in it um, of about 5%. And uh, the beauty of this paint is it's a no wax paint. Uh, very often with chalk paints you do have to wax it and indeed we have a range where you will wax it as well but not this one it uh, the reason for that is it comes with a moisture barrier which uh, is great for outdoor use as well and it's got a uv filter uh, so terrific again for outdoor use but also in places like conservatories uh, on window sills where you get the sunlight um, tinting paint sometimes, uh, uh, then it's, it's terrific for that. And it's just so easy to use. Uh, two coats, maybe three coats, and your project is finished. So that's the Vasanti matte range. And as I say, that's the one that Jackie uses pretty much all the time, and most of our clients do as well. The eggshell version of Vasanti um, has more sheen, as you might guess from the name. It's uh, got 15% sheen, and it's just a touch more resilient, and therefore is particularly useful in kitchens and bathrooms. Um, for those that have been in the shop, you've probably seen the before and after that we've done on kitchen cupboard doors. It's fantastic for that type of usage where it's so easy to just wipe down. The mats you can wipe down as well, no difference in that sense but it's just that little bit more resilient. And then the um, third one that I wanted to talk about was vintage, Vasanti Vintage. This is the paint that you do have to wax. It's a more porous paint. Uh, it's, it's a softer configuration. And that's one of the reasons why you have to wax it. And the fact it's porous allows you to really use it for more decorative effects. So um, Authentico produce a lot of different waxes uh, in all sorts of different colors and shades. There's a blue, pink, green, black, 
silver, uh, white, there's all sorts of different colors. Um, this one here is a, is a dark, dark brown one, and it allows you to do all sorts of different effects, and that's the beauty of the porosity. Um, <laughs> you can also get the wax in uh, slightly bigger containers. This is the one that Jack uses. Um, if you are doing a lot of waxing, and if you do use vintage a lot, then a brush like this, uh, specifically designed for waxing, is terrific because it, uh, it gives you the ability to put it on really evenly. Um, but if you're uh, just doing it for the odd project, then a normal flat brush will suffice, or tend to go do them, as do everyone else, of course. Main thing is just to make sure it's a synthetic brush, uh, and that's very easy then to keep clean. Um, one other chalk paint I just wanted to mention, and that is the metallic chalk paints, called Metallico. Um, Authentico have had metallics for a while, and it's unbelievable to me anyway that they are actually chalk paints, but they are. And you can see the, the range here that um, they originally had just for the metallic range. Now that has uh, recently been extended to about 20 colors. Um, and uh, here's two of them. Um, so Metallico Cosmic Teal, which is uh, quite a jazzy color and Metallico Ancient Copper. Um, this is, these are terrific for being able to paint uh, mirrors, picture frames. Um, I know Jackie's done quite a few candlesticks and things like that. Um, terrific for drawers, uh, fronts of uh, chest of drawers where you can do a contrast. Um, the more copper and me me metal ones, um, there's one called Baroque Bronze as well that Jackie uses quite a lot. Uh, yeah, they're terrific for just touching in handles on cabinets and cupboards where um, you just need to um, uh, refurbish them because they've got a bit maybe rusty or, or, or such like. So the metallic range, don't forget about that as, as well. So they're the chalk paints that essentially we use for all our furniture projects and indeed outdoor projects. <laughs> Just wanted to talk briefly about um, accessories that uh, Authentico do. I've already shown you the, the, the brushes that, uh, that they do. Um, with chalk paint, if you go to our video about preparation, you'll see that all you need to do is to sand it, sugar soap, and away you go. There's no priming, there's no undercoating. That is true 99% of the time. The only time where you would need to potentially use a primer or an undercoat is uh, on very specific situations. The primer is designed when you're doing Vasanti, uh, using the Vasanti paints, is if you're painting onto plastic or something that is uh, very glossy, then even though you've, you've given it a light key with sanding, it's recommended to use a primer just to give it a little bit more resilience. The undercoat is the equivalent designed specifically for vintage. Now what I would say about the vintage is that because it's porous, you can find situations where um, from the furniture, tannins can actually bleed through the paint. And you'll notice that when you start getting brown marks in, in, in your paint, you'll find it very quickly. Only happens with the vintage range. In that circumstance, you'd stop uh, you'd use the undercoat and then you go over it. You will not see that, that not get that problem with the uh, Vasanti range because of the moisture barrier, which it stops that, um, that uh, bleeding coming through. Um, just a couple of others to mention. They do, uh, Authentico uh, have a range called Grandiose, which is their hard wax oil. That's particularly useful, um, great for floors, but um, we sometimes use it for tabletops and the tops of cabinet uh, tops where you're going to leave them as wood. I should also mention that um, sometimes, especially in the shop, 
uh, we use another product they sell, which we haven't got here. We're in our workshop today and we couldn't find one, to be honest. <laughs> um, we use a matte varnish, which we just uh, put a single coat on. That just gives a little bit more resilience for furniture that we're selling to customers. It's not essential, but it, it can be something if you're particularly concerned about um, making a top as resilient as possible. So that's the grandiose range, comes in all sorts of different tints. There's also this product, and we're talking really about um, preparation now. Um, in fact, we don't mention this in our preparation um, video. And the reason is, is that you don't often need this. In, as we've dis discussed before, just uh, a sand and a sugar soap will do. Um, if you have a product that has a lot of wax on it already, and this is sometimes the case with uh, pine more modern pine furniture you can often find it's got a very strong wax in 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 there um, and and any chalk paint any water-based paint will not stick to wax then you can work hard at sanding it um, but Authentico do this terrific product called uh, BioStrip which you just paint on uh, leave it uh, scrape it off and wash it down and it's a terrific way of getting rid of, um, of wax. I particularly use it in situations on pine furniture where I've found uh, people have used something like, uh, like bry wax or something like that, then uh, this, this works terrifically well. And the final point just to say, and I know Jackie does mention this on the preparation side, but uh, OmniClean is Authentico's answer to sugar soap. Um, it's a very effective sugar soap. You uh, dilute it with water and um, just use it to degrease furniture and get rid of any, uh, any dirt and, and grime. Okay, so um, all of these products can be purchased from us in the, in the shop, um, or you can purchase the products online. And uh, I have to say, at the time of doing this video, we're actually in the middle of the coronavirus um, crisis, and uh, our shop is shut. However, on our website, you can go to the home page, uh, click on the link, and it will take you directly to Authentico's website where you can order any of your products uh, directly shipped to yourself, and they are on uh, special UK delivery rates. So I hope that's all uh, made sense to you. Uh, there's quite a lot of different products, but ultimately, well, when you get down to it, if you want to use um, uh, these products for furniture painting, um, Sugar soap and Vasanti mat will sort you out probably 90% of the time. Thanks very much.